To access guided access on the iPad, you need to go into the settings menu. So once you're in the settings menu, make sure you're in the general tab and then scroll down to the second last option on the screen here that says accessibility. Once you hit the accessibility, you'll see a lot of the normal options that you're used to in iOS 5, but because we're in iOS 6 now, under the learning tab, you can see guided access is off. So we'll tap that and we will turn it on. I've got an option here to set a passcode. If I was working one-to-one -one with a student, I might not need that passcode because I would be there to supervise and see their actions. But in a classroom situation, you might want to set that passcode with larger groups that are harder to uh, manage individually. So I'm going to tap set passcode. I'll just do one, two, three, four. It prompts me to re-enter my password, one, two, three, four. And now guided access is available for me in any app that I want to use it in. So I'm going to come out of here and I'm going to go into Safari. Here I am on a web page in Safari. And what I want to do is just give students access to this web page. I don't want them to navigate off this page. I don't want them to go searching the internet for other things. I only want them to be using this website. So I'm going to lock it down a little bit with guided access. So I'll triple click the home button. And you can see it shrinks away there and opens up my guided access options. In the bottom left hand corner, it says the hardware buttons are always off. So once I click start in that top right hand corner, it means that the home button will not function the way it normally does. Students can press it, nothing will happen. Touch, in the middle of the op options at the bottom there, if I turn the touch off, it means they will not be able to interact with any of the page at all. So you can see it's all grayed out there on the screen. Nothing that resembles a touch will have any consequence on this web page right now. So I'll leave it on right now. That's going to be a little impractical. I don't want to lock down the whole website. Just keep it on this one page. So what I can do is I can draw a circle around this top half here. So I'm going to say all the way around the top there. I'm going to include the navigation bar. I'm going to include all my bookmark bar. Include the search bar. So really there's, there's no option for the student now to get off this website. In the bottom right hand corner, the last option there is motion and that includes whether you want the device to be able to turn from portrait to landscape. It's a bit like a lock rotation option um, but it gives you the option to uh, make sure that that is on and cannot be turned off. So set the options the way you want them, circle uh, the areas on the screen that you do not want the students to interact with and once you're done hit start in the top right hand corner. So it says guided access has started and you can see at the top those top areas that I drew the circle around is all hashed out and nothing that I tap up there now has any um, access on the screen. I can still scroll up and down and you know access some different links on the page but I cannot navigate away from this website. It's locked on this site so that um, I know my students are going to be on this one page. The other nice thing about guided access is that none of those multitasking gestures that you're used to will work while you're in guided access. So if I do the five finger grab and try and go back to my home page, it doesn't work. If I do the four finger swipe left and right, it doesn't work. It can't move between apps. If I do the four fingers push up to try and get the multitasking bar, it doesn't work. I can't do any of those gestures on there. But that's good because I want to lock this down and make sure that students don't have access for leaving the app. So how do I turn it off? Well I just do my triple click home button again, one, two, three, and it asks me for the passcode. So I'll put my passcode in and there I get the option in the top left hand corner to click end. Once I click end it says guided access has ended. If I'm using these iPads again later with another class, you know, it, the handy thing about guided access is that when you go back in again to turn it back on, it remembers the last area that you had um, marked off. So I could just hit start again without reselecting areas. So I'll click cancel on that and now that we're out of guided access I can just hit home and go back to my home screen. So there you go, a quick tour on how educators could use guided access in the classroom.